Hey guys, we're in our Mocha Sando today. So excited to just check out the shops like every single day in Tokyo, I suppose. There's a few secondhand bag stores we haven't visited yet. So hopefully we can check those out, but come along guys and let's see what we've discovered today. Yesterday when we were in Rapongi Hills, I bought this new voluminous skirt, which I'm wearing today. Now I'm like totally open-minded to wearing skirts again. I was definitely more of a trousers gal last few years but i'm really getting into these japanese fashions so just an interesting definitely different styling here to melbourne that's for sure i'm yeah i feel really inspired salmon salad looks very fresh and delicious got some rice some salmon um, this cafe is called afternoon tea love and table and it's in on Motta Sando and Alex uh, got the chicken salad give it a go Okay, this is definitely the thing that caught my eye when I walked past the restaurant. Alex, what do you think? It's way too big. Yeah, well, no, it is not. He is just exaggerating, guys. Like, look, that looks totally delicious. I am so excited. Alex, have a bit of that at the corner. Have a, have a bit of that. All right. The grapes are falling out. Oh, yum. Look at that. Grapes. Yeah. These, these Japanese grapes are so yum, cannot get enough. Alex isn't a huge fan of desserts, but he was like, oh, I can't finish this, I have to go to the bathroom. So I just like ate the whole cake myself. Yum, so good. Hey guys, check it out, New Balance Cafe. There's literally a cafe of everything here. New Balance. Wow. Don't think we'll try it out. We just had Starbucks before. Ugh, typical. Incredible is the gold hardware on that bag. These bags I thought were quite cool. They don't have any puffy quilting and a beautiful tote bag there. Now look at the wall of Chanel. It is just completely overwhelming. Definitely a overload to my brain. These beautiful vertical quilted jumbos were also just to die for. Look at the structure of them. Now I would ask in the store if anything has been touched up because I don't know, some of these bags just look too new to be true. But you know, I know that in Japan they're very, um, they do look after their things in general, it's part of their culture. So a lot of these bags have been well preserved. Here we have some classic caviar, beige, some more vertical quilted bags. I am a real fan of the vertical quilting. I think it looks amazing. And I don't know, it just gives the bag this real good puffiness. Interesting silhouette there and a, you know, Mademoiselle Turnlock flap bag. Now look at these striking gold brooches. You know, this is a very 90s vibe. Back in the day, Chanel did 24K coated hardware and it was in this very um, yellow gold color. I really loved this rope clutch as well. Um, you know, in around 1991, there was a runway show where they had a lot of gold metallic bags. And, well, I feel like when I think of Chanel, I definitely think of gold as one of their signature colors. So if you ask me, I think getting a metallic gold Chanel bag is also 
very iconic. Now there was a few little belt bags down here um, in red and panning over to the Chanel Diana section. Now Princess Diana did wear um, this bag um, and it was nicknamed after her. They had an array of colors, caviar, some, oh, okay. This was my favorite bag of the holiday. It's the Chanel 1995 patent leather jumbo and these inc incredibly rare bags. This one reminded me of a velvet toy Lulu from Saint Laurent. This bag is, I, th I think it might be from a Moscow collection. This beautiful tapestry kind of gold finish stunning and notice how a lot of the Chanel clasps in this cabinet are like pearls or crystals and in the back I noticed these uh, wicker basket bags which uh, I saw modeled on Naomi Campbell um, in the early 90s so you know, I would I've never seen those before this little wooden trunk bag I remember seeing in a late 90s show and here's Claudia Schiffer wearing it again a very collectible piece anything kind of wooden Chanel um, is very desirable to collectors and look at the little diamantes on this bag um, this I believe is from 1995 I did see a hot pink one on the runway runway show what is your favorite bag in this vlog guys I know it's a lot to take in that's why I was kind of I'm trying to like screen capture some parts of the video so we can just admire the bags a little more I was rushing a little bit whilst filming how beautiful are those lace Chanel bags in the back and these cassette bags, I've actually seen Jacob has one of these video Menardier bags. So if you'd like to learn more about it, definitely check out Jacob's channel. He does own it. And yeah, a lot of these bags were very evening vibe. Now going over to this section, they had these Porter Shell plastic chain bags, which I really like as well. Uh, Chanel did do some plastic chain bags in a recent collection. I also really loved this little vanity case style. Very structured and boxy. Um, what do you think of the tortoiseshell um, chain, guys? I know on the pre-love market, sometimes you find them and they're a bit cracked because it's plastic, but I quite like the finish. And we have the Chanel Party Kelly bag. This was recently reissued this year. What do you prefer, guys? The original version from the late 90s or the updated version with the quilting? I, I think you guys know my thoughts. I definitely prefer the OG version. This one was in a tangerine, a classic black. It is, it is so cute. This, this bag is honestly one of my favorites. Hey June actually has this bag too. So check out Hey June. She has it in white. Now we have the most iconic bag, I don't know, from the 90s of all time. This was recently recreated for the Barbie movie as well in this pink and white colorway. Um, very collectible, very rare. My favorite is definitely this one and the ad with the blue and the pink. I just think blue and pink is like my dream combination. If I was going to do a special ordered Birkin, I think I'd do blue and pink. Little Queen Stars colors. Just love these advertisements with Claudia Schiffer. Um, yeah. I don't know if you guys have watched the Chanel 1995 Spring Runway, but um, that is my favorite. It's very Barbie themed and a lot of the uh, kind of clothes from the Barbie movie are inspired from that runway show and a more vintage is definitely that vibe too um, These are some tweed uh, twin bags uh, from around 1994 now a little metallic um, I don't know exactly what year that's from but oh just love this fluffy bag uh, This is just to die for look at that structured top handle. It's like a little poodle um, also a very rare bag and probably hard to find in good condition due to the fluffiness. I've never seen this bag before. It was a denim, it's like a vertical quilt. Is it? No, it's like diagonal quilt. Little caviar bag there with a Mademoiselle turn lock and some exotic Chanel bags. We've got some crocodile uh, with the striking gold hardware. This record bag Alex really liked and I've never seen it before but I did some research and it's from 2003. Um, I guess it's a really uh, collectible piece. A lizard bag there from Chanel. Uh, if you guys aren't aware, Chanel no longer do exotics. So if you are thinking to invest in a Chanel bag, I would suggest to go for a crocodile one because not only is crocodile quite long lasting, but you know, Chanel will never do it again. And it, I think it's a bag that will probably go up in value. I know people don't say bags are investments, but if you know your stuff guys, you know what to collect and you know, our true Chanel, uh, well, handbag lovers know that these bags do go up in value because they're collectible. Um, these are some vertical quilted Chanel minis. I particularly loved these. 
because I never see the square mini in vertical quilts so if I had all the money in the world I would have bought one of these because yeah it's just so stinking cute in the vertical quilts and the mini and here we have some more Chanel costume jewelry um, you know I just have never seen such a range in my life it is to be honest a lot more impressive than if you go to the Chanel boutique and look at their costume jewelry uh, I don't know they just don't make it like they used to Love the Chanel backpacks up here. The Duma backpack in mini size gold metallic from around, I think it's 1991 to 1994. Uh, the Tweed, also gorgeous. Look at that white check one. Uh, yeah, again, I do prefer the original Duma backpack to the reissued version. This little crop jacket uh, was gorgeous. Uh, don't see that every day. Uh, very iconic. Now when I went to this store they were blasting this funky music so that is why I'm doing voiceover. Hope you guys don't mind. Love that red lipstick on the mannequin. These, this wall, okay, I love the VM. Wow, look at that denim bag. So this little denim bag here to the right, I actually used to own it in purple and it, I think it's from 1991 which is actually my birth year so yeah pretty cool. Uh, what do you think about these little wicker vanity kind of styles? I think they're quite cute. Well, uh, yes, raw Chanel bags, denim. And then I noticed that a lot of celebrities had come to a mall and, uh, you know, Kim K, we got Black Jink, <laughs> Black Pink Jenny, uh, Treasure Yoshi, I don't know who that is, uh, Megan Fox has been here, so I'm sure that they spent a pretty penny here. And yeah. We just have to go down the stairs. Now there was two levels to a more vintage. Uh, the bottom level had a lot more ready to wear, which was just incredible. Because to be honest, Chanel to me is more for ready to wear, not not really handbags anymore. They do. Oh my god, it just I, I have no words, guys. When I went in here, I just it was it was a sensory overload. I'm not gonna lie, like I didn't know what to do. I just I think you need to spend like a whole week in here to <laughs> really take it in. Uh, just a Chanel, just a drop of number five. That's a cool clutch there. Uh, some vintage shoes. Now, I don't know, I feel like there were a few pieces that weren't as old. Um, like I did see the hula hoop bag in here, which is a, from around 2013. Look how cute that little cord is. Um, these little jumpers with little shoes on them. Uh, that's the mini hula hoop bag. Uh, which yeah, it's a pretty cool piece. It also comes in like an actual hula hoop size as well. How interesting is this fish like bone necklace? I do not know what collection that is from, but that is really cool for Chanel. Wow, I mean, how beautiful is this tweed? I'm really inspired by the color scheme, the blue with the pink and the yellow. Just like a fairy floss kind of candy color. That is gorgeous. I don't know what year that is from, but yeah, I don't know. I just was admiring it. These little suspenders are pretty iconic. I think they're from the early 90s. Um, yeah. If you're curious to know, learn more about these um, pieces, I would suggest go, just go to Vogue Runway and flick through some of the early 90s Chanel Runway shows and you might actually, uh, it kind of makes you fall in love with Chanel more. Um, yeah, Carl just really uh, reinvigorated Chanel I suppose, made it a lot more youthful, exciting, um, but yeah I don't know, there's something really nostalgic and sad about seeing some of these older pieces. Uh, that was a Chanel bike, very interesting, I don't know, I just, I, there was something about the vintage bags that gave me a sense of sadness, I don't know why, I guess because you'll never really get this from Chanel again, I just, they felt completely different to the modern day bags, a lot more substantial, um, I mean, some of these bags looked in better condition than the new Chanel bags from the store. So, I don't know, this is kind of like a period of fashion that we, we may not experience for a while again. I mean, we may. Um, yeah, I don't know, I was really inspired. I love the twins bags. And going back to the Chanel Kelly, really beautiful. I mean, if I had all the money in the world, I definitely would. Um, if I was Kim K, guys, I would have bought a lot from here because I actually prefer vintage Chanel to the, the new Chanel bags. They just, they have more of a feel to them. I don't know, maybe because they're, they're just things you can't get anymore. Beautiful little velvet evening bag there. Very gorgeous. Aren't they just so sweet? And we've got like a Chanel 
It kind of looks like a cocoa handle, but it's all like a trendy CC. Um, and here we have some more fabric Diana bags and a satin bag. These were the double-sided Chanel bags. They have two faces to them. And yeah, just quite interesting there. I mean, it's quite incredible how many different styles of Chanel flap bag they have made over the years. Going back to the exotics, the crocodile. This is from the chocolate bar line, which actually the chocolate bar line from Chanel tends to go for less than the classic quilts. Uh, these are some east-west bags, which to be honest are totally coming back in fashion. You know, a lot of designer houses are doing east-west silhouette again. Vanity cases, absolutely stunning. These are some more mini micro bags. Look at those little baskets with the heart lock. Oh my gosh, I, I can't even help. That is just too cute. Sometimes I wish I could be a handbag designer. I could just, I don't know. But I don't know how to make handbags, guys. Oh, look at these little belt belts with the micro Chanel bags on them. You could also use them as bag charms, I suppose. Um, yeah, so many Chanel backpacks on the wall. So if you're looking for a Chanel backpack, look up because they hang a lot of them on the wall. Isn't that an interesting belt? Yeah, it's just, okay, going back. Okay, they were just stunning. I can't even with those. Um, yeah, so I would really, if you're into handbags, I would definitely suggest to just go here and check it out. Um, and if you are wondering what the prices of all these bags are, I will link below the Amore Vintage website because I think they do ship internationally. So if you can't make it to Japan and you have fallen in love with like a bag in this vlog, I obviously am not sponsored, uh, but if you have, then you can purchase it. They do ship international. I'm not sure if you may be hit with some uh, taxes by doing that. Like if you are planning to go to Japan, probably best to just pick it up when you're on your holiday because you'll be able to get the tax-free price as well. But um, yeah, I mean, sometimes you can't go on holiday, so you might have to buy online. These are some little Y2K sunglasses, early 2000s. I mean, Chanel does some incredible fashion sunglasses. And um, yeah, I mean, as I said, it's just a complete archive of Chanel from over the years. Um, and I just don't know, I actually don't know if they make a lot of sales because they just have so much stock. So I would assume a lot of it may be sitting around for a while, like it was literally like a museum. I wonder if it will reach a point where these pieces become so desirable that some rich person will just come in and like buy it all up. Because I just, I don't know how it's just all still here. Like, it's just so amazing. Like, why aren't they, like, really well? Like, if I was, like, a millionaire, guys, you, no doubt I would be in here buying all this stuff. Like, <laughs> it is just, it, it is so much more interesting than what's coming out in, in today's fashion to me. Wow, look at all that. And, yeah, back to the Chanel bike with the matching Chanel bags, the Chanel uh, quilted bike seat. Pretty cool piece. Um, yeah, oh, was that a Chanel guitar? Very interesting. Uh, even Kendrick Lamar has been here. And yeah, that's that. I mean, I could have stayed there for longer, but you know, I was getting a little bit hungry. Oh, so yeah, that's the front of the store, and you can really see a lot of the bags all through the store. Uh, it was really funky in there. Uh, I've never seen these Coco Chanel fabric bags. I thought they were kind of cool too. I really liked the mannequin as well. It's quite quirky. And the, the luggage cases there, travel bags, duffels. I mean, imagine traveling in style with those Chanel bags. Hey guys, that was just incredible. It was honestly like a Chanel museum in there. I honestly feel like Chanel, I don't know if they have like a relationship with Amour or something, but it's a real cool archive to go to if you love Chanel, if you love the history of all the different, you know, 90s fashion shows. You can literally go in there and discover all the pieces in real life. It's just incredible and it would be a real shame if they sold through all their stock because, you know, you couldn't go there to have a look at it anymore. The prices are obviously quite high because they're very rare and collectible, but you know, if you have the money like Kim K or something, you can definitely pick up something super special in there.